Those were variations on Cowhide Boots, a Central Missouri fiddle tune. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch the previous video and learn the original tune before learning these variations. So we're going to start this version out with a broken chord, a four note broken chord. And we're going to keep our hands on opposite bridges, meaning the right hand is going to play the G and the B. The left hand is going to play the D and the higher G. So instead of playing them out, excuse me, in order like this, lowest to highest, we're going to keep our hands on opposite bridges and play right to left. Now this is not in rhythm, but you will play right, left, right, left. So it sounds like triplet one. And the last of those notes is the melody note, and it happens right on beat one. So the rest of it actually happens just before beat one. chord just goes straight down the scale. So let's play those two measures again. And again. All right, let's just do that much. So you might hear me sniff just before I do that broken chord, and it's actually a timekeeper. Just like you see a conductor sniff and give an upbeat right before he starts. It's helpful. All right, ready and go. Now we have pickup notes that are now a triplet. So it just walks right up the scale again, just alternating. is just a strike plus a bounce. And for me, it's pretty much always on my left hand. Not exclusively, but most of the time it is. So here's the triplets leading into the second phrase. Ready and go. Now the next material is very similar. Instead of doing which is what we did originally. We're going to change the, change the rhythm. So most of that is the same, but the rhythm in the first, in that C chord is different. second phrase. Ready and go. All right, let's do the entire A section together, starting with that broken chord. Ready and go. with a triplet as well. You go to the higher octave, you do the same thing, but just an octave higher. And I put the roll in a different place. Let's do it again, listening.
you could put it either on the second G with the left hand for me or the second D. Let me do that again. Ready and go. And the next part is the same. Then the triplet again. doing dotted quarter and an eighth. Then the ending is very similar. And again, we're going to drop a note instead of going to the F sharp, we just stop on the A and then chord. All right, so here's the B part. I'll do it very slowly. One, two, ready. And triplet. broken G chord at the very top. One and go. Mm -hmm. 